What is philosophy? Philosophy is defined as the study of basic ideas and truth and searches for an understanding of the values human beings have. One could also say that it is the rational investigation of truth and knowledge. This field tends to analyze complex and abstract topics such as beliefs, emotions, religions, beauty, and ethics, thus seeking to answer questions such as the meaning of life and the human experience. Famous philosophers include Aristotle, Immanuel Kant, Confucius, and many more, who studied this discipline and contributed to various movements and ideologies. What is the purpose of philosophy? While many people have heard of philosophy, many do not understand its value since they may extract their beliefs from religious texts or cultural tales with no second thought. However, philosophy allows us to assess our beliefs and their merit. This is because it does the following, 1. Promote active thought and critical thinking, as opposed to blindly following cultural norms, philosophy allows us to examine our beliefs critically and think about the value they hold. While some may let go of their beliefs, others may reinforce their beliefs. It could also lead to new concepts that aim to improve life by combining traditions and modern practices. 2. Assists in research, when doing research, one comes across large amounts of data. It is important to properly analyze this data using a combination of qualitative and quantitative skills as outlined in your dissertation writing guide. Philosophy can help you sort through the data and focus attention on important details and relevant theories that will lead to a proper conclusion. Many students often have trouble with this entire process, but our dissertation writing services can help with long research projects by compiling data and performing a proper analysis on it. Southwest feel free to place your order for philosophy homework writing help today. 3. Teaches proper speaking and debate skills. Philosophy relies on arguments made by its students and hence involves a lot of speaking as opposed to scientific experimentation and lab work. As such, one should be persuasive and use the correct words to help listeners and readers adopt your point of view. It helps you learn how to present your arguments in an appealing way using appropriate language and proper organization. 4. Develop problem-solving skills. When an individual or a group looks at their culture and decides to investigate an issue, they can use philosophy to analyze these issues. Skills such as observation, analysis, and logic can help one break down problems and formulate effective solutions, hence it teaches useful life skills. 5. Promotes change and progress. When society begins to question its beliefs, it can address societal issues at the root and help solve them. This is because it targets the social, economic, cultural, and political aspects of society, thus all facets can be addressed. It is also important to note that major social changes have been fueled by discourse, so this should not be overlooked. 6. Influences the law, since it focuses on facets of human life, various topics in philosophy have been used as a basis for the law. This is because they seek to solve societal issues e.g., the promotion of communism by Karl Marx to ease income inequality and as a solution to societal problems. 7. Identify contradictions, the mental tools provided by philosophy enable us to understand when we contradict ourselves and why. For example, the rise of AI is a result of technology that aims to ease human lives but can threaten the longevity of the human species since it may take over industries. What are the four main branches of philosophy? Since philosophy is the search for wisdom, it is necessary to differentiate the various facets of life it analyzes. As such, philosophy has four main branches that you are likely to come across. These are, 1. Epistemology. Epistemology is the theory of knowledge that seeks to assess the nature, origin, and limits of human knowledge. It is one of the oldest fields of philosophy, with well-known philosophers such as Plato contributing to it. Epistemology has two branches, one being empiricism which studies the true knowledge that people gain from their senses, and the other being rationalism which investigates the rationale behind knowledge and hence seeks to understand how human understanding operates. Aside from that, there are four main types of epistemology, namely genetic, formal, political, and social epistemology. Social epistemology focuses on how knowledge is produced by a society based on its history and culture and is very useful in sociology and psychology. Political epistemology studies political aspects of life and major events and seeks to promote peace. Formal epistemology studies general knowledge, such as what truth is, 
while genetic epistemology studies children's cognitive development. 2. Metaphysics refers to the study of abstract concepts that shape reality, such as space, time, and being. It focuses on four realms of being, the realm of essence, the realm of matter, the realm of truth, and the realm of spirit. Students can expect to handle transcendental concepts such as truth and goodness. However, the field has rapidly developed over the course of centuries and can't be easily defined owing to its breadth. We understand that this topic can challenge students, so let us know if you need any philosophy homework writing help. 3. Logic This branch of philosophy seeks to organize one's reasoning. It can either be deductive or inductive. Deductive reasoning refers to a logical approach where you assess an idea, check the various factual premises and factors that contributed to it and form a specific conclusion based on this. On the other hand, inductive reasoning is the opposite of deductive reasoning since it allows one to draw a conclusion by making observations, observing a pattern, making generalizations, and forming a theory based on this. As such we can state that inductive reasoning is based on observations, while deductive reasoning is based on theories. 4. Axiology, this is the study of value. Basically what makes things good and their worth. While it does look into ethics, it also assesses the value of aesthetics. Ethics studies the concept of good and evil, while aesthetics studies beauty and harmony. Experts argue that good is a result of hierarchies and the will and seek to address how humans use their emotions to discern values. Simply put, the right action is determined by the emotions the values in question reveal since a good value is basically one that has positive lasting emotions. Tips to help you pass your philosophy assignments Philosophy is a complex subject that requires years of learning to become an expert. Combine this with the fact that you need to write properly, and many students are confused about what to do. For these reasons, we have compiled a list of tips you can implement to help you write a better philosophy essay. These are 1. Read the text provided, oftentimes, your philosophy professor will provide you with a text to analyze, be it a book passage, speech or story. Even if the text in question is well known, it is important to reread it in light of the question and its context. This also helps you address the question as it is asked, include textual references but not quotes. Quoting a passage is meant to help you reinforce your argument, but your paper should not include a series of quotes as its main argument. Use your own points to complete the essay. However, include references as evidence when you state what another person said. 2. Have an outline, make sure that your paper has a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. In the introduction, state the main question, and offer a brief statement on your position in what is known as a thesis statement. You could also offer context on the topic in this section. The body allows you to examine your reasons and views and present evidence in different paragraphs. As such, its length depends on the word count. Last is the conclusion where you wrap up your arguments, preferably with an intriguing statement that provokes thought in the reader. 3. Consider conflict and its causes. Oftentimes, people have differing opinions on various philosophical topics. To persuade your readers to adopt your viewpoint, you should consider any different viewpoints they may have and address them. Point out why their perspective may be wrong in a clear manner and bring them to agree with your case. 4. Think broadly, since philosophy considers abstract topics, one needs to deeply analyze different viewpoints and think outside of the box to make intriguing statements. You could also try to brainstorm points and use arrows to connect them to formulate a coherent argument. As per our philosophy homework help experts, this will help you write a well-developed essay. 5. Treat the essay like an exam, to write a good essay, try to view it as an exam where you only have one chance to pass. While the first draft is not perfect, this process can help you put your best foot forward and form a good basis for your essay. If you do have an exam, you could ease any anxiety by booking our exam tutoring help services and learn with an expert.